This video will show you a little bit more about accessing the business databases from the library. This is the resource guides page that you can find in my Hugo on the library team site or you can just go to guides.hodges.edu just like it shows up here in the top bar. Then if you look over here in the top right you'll see A to Z database list and I can say go to A to Z list and that's going to show me a list of all the different databases that we have in the library. Right now there's about 129 listed and here they're just in alphabetical order. So if you knew, for example, that your professor had said that you need to use opposing viewpoints or recommended that you use opposing viewpoints down here in the O's, you'll see a list for opposing viewpoints in context. So I could click on that and open that database to go and search. Now, if you weren't sure which specific database you wanted to use, or if you wanted to see, as I said, the databases for business, here is a link uh, drop-down menu that says All Subjects. When I open that up, I could search or I can just see right here the first one listed is business. Then my display changes. You'll see there's 28 databases for business and it lists them all in alphabetical order. Now you'll think you notice at the very top best bets. Best bets are databases that we librarians together with your professors and understanding the different assignments and projects that you have think are exceptionally good databases for getting started or very strong in the subject. So you'll see here Business Source Complete, Virgin First Research, those are very good databases. I also like um, the ABI databases And some others. So we may be adding to um, and even modifying this list more as we go through the semester. So, for example, if I went into ABI Inform Global, which is a great database that has scholarly articles on business and management topics, it's going to ask me if I'm at home to log in. So I'll log in with my MyHugo username and password. And then it's going to take me to a page where I can choose how I would like to search. So it's telling me that I'm in ABI Inform Global. That's the database I chose. It's giving me a place to type what I want to search for. And then it's giving me some choices down here about how I might limit my search. And two very important things are the full text. That means that you will see only articles that you can open and read on your computer and peer-reviewed. Now, peer-reviewed is a very specific term that indicates the kind of information, the kind of article that it's going to show you. Not every article is peer-reviewed and just because an article isn't peer-reviewed doesn't mean it's not useful. Peer-reviewed means that the article has been reviewed by scholars experts and researchers in that specific field to determine if it is up to certain standards and includes um, good information and good research. That doesn't mean that other articles can't be used or are not useful. A lot of things that you'll be using in your time in the school of business are not peer-reviewed. They're just statistics and finance numbers and things like that. Then you would type um, some terms, some keywords to describe what you're looking for, like gender and leadership. It runs the search and it brings back here, wow, a lot of results, about 40, almost 45,000 articles that are full text. And even though I didn't choose the peer reviewed on the other page, you can see a little icon here of, of the graduation cap, that means it's peer reviewed. 
so you can see lots and lots of articles and then because we chose the full text you'll see the full text here you'll see a little bit of information about the article on the page if you hold your mouse over the preview button you'll see the full information or if you click on the title of the article that will take you to the full screen where you get some options like email, print, cite, and save. So that's a very brief, quick look at some of the business databases looking specifically at the ABI Inform Global database.